everyone, it's Nancy Bastien, and I need to get going on my postcards for the challenge on Pink Poodle Crafts. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do a page, a full page, and then see how many uh, 4x6 postcards I can get out of this. And then I have some already cut. And already have some backgrounds done on them. Oh, I wanted to show you. I got my all my cards laminated. Yay for me. That was fun. And then I figured out I had two different sizes of laminating pouches. And the bigger size, I could get two, two of them on one if they went this way in the laminating pouch. And then, of course, the smaller ones were not was not tall enough this way, so I had to put them that way. But anyway, they're all done. They're all in my nice little box that I made with my transferred. Um, I need to um, put varnish or something on this box. Transferred napkins onto a onto butcher paper and then I lined it I glued it on some cardstock to make my box okay get on with the postcards Nancy so I have a couple here that are already have backgrounds on them that I'm gonna use so this one I just want to make backgrounds and this paper is uh, Canson mixed media it's 11 by 14 so, I don't know how many I'll get out of it, but anyway, I'm going to use Dilutions paints, and I'm going to do it the way that uh, Shannon Green was doing her backgrounds with these funky brushes. These I found at in the kids' department, and at Walmart, I think. So, I'm going to use those, and we're going to, I'm not gessoing my paper, so... We're going to get started on some painting here. Let me get my paints open a little bit. Oops, I don't want to do that over there. This is the gloopy one, so that's okay. I can use the gloopy ones. Oh, goodness. They are stuck on there. Oh, and I made some of that DIY microglaze like Stacy did. See, I made mine. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. I hope it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to get all these paints open so I can just dip into them. I should have had this done before I started the video. But I didn't. So you have to bear with me for a few seconds. I don't know where I'm going to put all these lids. I know you're supposed to put them back on as soon as you use them. But you know. You know how it goes. You know. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to go around and I call it, you know what, I'm going to move this off and put another piece of paper down for, to catch my stuff. I'll be right back. I'm going to put you on pause. And That's a lot of white to be blown out here, but all right. Let's get started on this paper. Just gonna dip it in and twirl it around. And I might have to get some water because it doesn't want to move very good. Now I got a little too much water on that, but that's okay. It's dilution, so... I'm going 
going to change my brush out and I'm going to do a little bit of orange. This paint's really thick. But I need to get it used up. I've had it for a long time. And I'm going to put some yellow in here. I'm not going to change my brush out. That yellow turned orange. I'll rinse this out. That's one thing if you don't have a lot of brushes and I get these little brush hairs that are coming out on it, but that's okay. So, no new stories to tell today. It's the same old, same old. Um, Wes went to the people who are following me with his help, like to know stories about him. He went, we had an appointment with the liver doctor. He got on his Harvoni uh, medicine for the hepatitis C. And, uh, so... We're going to deal with that. We'll see how that works. He's going to be on it till for three months, 90 days. And in between those 90 days, he has to go in every four weeks and have blood work done. And his liver showed the beginnings of sclerosis. Of hardening he has hardening of the liver which I didn't particularly want to hear but I did and he was really bummed out on that when you get sclerosis of the liver it's really hard to eat anything it's hard to live so hopefully this um, Harvonia will knock it out and um, yeah we can always hope right so that's the news on him so he started taking his harbony yesterday he has to take it, he can't take any heartburn medicine, so if he's prone to heartburn, which he is, he can't take any kind of medicine except for Prilosect, a real low dosage of Prilosect. It, that's the only one that works with the Harboni. Or, um, it, um, it reacts it doesn't work so I'm getting all these little hairs out in there and my paints going everywhere 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 and I don't care because it's cool paint and I like it and I'm liking what I'm seeing here I have some stencils that I'm gonna use and I think I got everything on my page that I want to have on it. Now I don't know if I want to do a second one or not. I think I might while I've got it out here. I'm going to set this over here to dry and I'll pull another page out of my notebook. This notebook was a wipe off for a lot of my 
and so I got a lot of pages in here that are painted already but I haven't figured out how to use them yet I probably could use that one and paint over it because you know that's what we do is paint over stuff we put it down and then we paint over it I always tear these little things off I don't like them they catch on everything I know some people save them I'd have a whole box full if I saved them all Some people save them and stencil through them, but I don't. I pitch them right in the garbage. Okay, let's see. Let's start with some green this time. Let's see if we can. Do this a little bit of swirls. And then we'll go to the orange. And my brush is still wet. It is still wet, but that's okay. And then we'll go in with some teal. And then we'll go round and around and around. That's good exercises for your arms. For your fat little arms. I have fat arms. Yes, I have gained so much weight. I have fat arms and skinny, skinny wrists, but fat arms. Yes, I do. We are at 78 degrees today, which is rather warm. Here in Cincinnati. Alright, I'm going to rinse this out again. And put pink down. Pink and yellow. I got people next door mowing their lawns. I'm sorry if you're hearing that in the background. But that's what they have to do. They got to do it. I should spray a little bit of water in that. And give it a stir. really gloopy but that's what ranger said to do with them is when they got gloopy like this to spray water in them but if you use tap water they'll go moldy that's just really gloopy it's not going to get any better I'm afraid it's just not going to get any better. So we'll just use it the way it is. Gloopy. Gloopy, gloopy. Yay for gloopy, gloopy. 
Let's see, what have we not used yet? Yellow. That's our orange one, so I'll rinse that one out and use the yellow. Got me some pretty water going on over here. It was clean when I started. What does yellow and pink make? Orange. What does yellow and teal make? Mud. Not today, because it's dry. All right, now let's go back to some. <sighs> what do I want? I want a little bit of pink up here. I do have other colors, but they're dark and I wanted bright. I wanted bright colors today. Get off of their hairs. And some yellow. I think Bill wants to go out. She's by the back door whining. I guess I want orange over here and I'll just use the yellow one. And then here and here, what should we put? Huh? What shall we put there? I'll put some teal here. Can you see? Now she's out barking at the neighbors that are mowing their lawn. I think one of these days they're going to get mad and I have a fear that they would poison her. What should I put here? Hmm? Some of this green? Okay. We shall, no, we've got green right there. Well, we could put a little bit of black because I got some black and white out here. And this black went gloopy too. Let's see, I guess we'll rinse the brush out. might give it a little pop right there, a little black pop. We can try, ooh, that's hard as a rock. That dried all up, guys, that dried all up. It did, it dried completely up. Look at that, hard as a rock.
I don't know if it'll work if I spray water in it. Oh my goodness. I think that's I think that's a goner. I do believe that's a goner. I'm gonna let it soak with water in it, but I'll be right back. I'm going to go get another black because they sent me another one. Okay, let's see if this one will work. That's disheartening, you know what? Really disheartening. Well, this one's nice and creamy. Really nice and creamy. I'm just drying my brush a little bit here in my lap. Okay, we'll just put a little bit of black in there. Ooh, look at it go, look at it go. Look how pretty. Next to those colors. Look at it go. Yay. All right. Now I'm going to put all my lids back on and then I'm going to put my brushes in of some water. And then we will continue on. I'm going to set this aside. And put all my lids back on, my colors. I hope my white hasn't dried up. That was pretty sad about that black. These just paints were not, they weren't good from the very start. They weren't worth the money. I know some people just really love them. If they were in tubes, they would have been better. These little pods, not so much. Get all this stuff off of here. Okay, I'm going to check my white because I want to do some stenciling. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Except for I get the crumbs everywhere. And then they're on this other mat that you have to wipe off with wet wipes as soon as I go to the store and get the stuff to make Stacy's wet wipes I am gonna I think that was the neatest and coolest idea she's ever come up with for us who use a lot of baby wipes like I do it will save a lot of money. Okay, I'm going to move this off of my water thing here. Put my brushes in the water. And bring my first one over. pretty much dry except for a little bit right there so I'm gonna dry that off let's see if I can get rid of these brush hairs and then I have some stencils right next to me and we're gonna stencil we're gonna stencil stencil 
this page after I take a drink of water. I have to have my mineral water. Let me dry this up just a little bit. Okay, good enough. So let's do a stencil. I want to do that one. And I don't want to put it all over, but... And I'm going to stencil in... I want black or white. Hmm. I think I'll do black. And I'm going to use my little daubers here. That's way too much paint. I won't see that too much on that purple. Probably should just go in the lid. this. Pretty, pretty. And go over here and do some over here. I love black and orange and black and yellow and black and pink. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. I think that's all I want of that one. And... I want to put some of this Aztec-y looking stuff on here. 
I think this is called Aztec Tiles. Because you got to remember that these are going to be cut up, so you want a little bit on every card. Oh, yummy. Let's see. Turn my paper this way. And let's do this one up here in this corner. This step stencil is a deco art, but it's really one of their real flimsy plastic ones that I'm not too thrilled with the oops I moved it oops oh well it'll be okay Well, it's not okay, but it'll have to be okay. And I want a little bit of these things right in here. Of these ooh, wet 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 these diamond things right here on the edge of the orange I'm sorry I get quiet. I get thinking and then I don't talk. All right. Now I'm going to set this over here on my paper, on my drop paper. And I'm going to let this dry. I told you we were going to stencil the crud out of it. Okay, now we're going to do this other piece. And I'm going to dry it off. You can see the black is so wet. And this one I want to do in white. Let's stencil white first on this one. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do so much stenciling that it covers the whole thing. Because I didn't leave room for any stamping on that other one. But that's okay. That's okay. You can use it like it is. I'll put some 
white circles on it and it'll be fine. So get this off of my fingers a little bit here. You know, wipe that off that. So I don't get everything in it. I'm going to turn this paper over. And I know the back side of this paper gets all yucky, yucky, but um, it's okay. So I'm going to do the white. And let's see. I have some, I want to do some bubbles. Some white bubbles. I got a new, and my white is hard. Oh, you guys, this is ridiculous, this paint. Look at that. Look at that. Every single one of their paints do this. They go gloopy. I am so angry at Ranger. These were worthless paints, let me tell you. Well, I'm not going to use that white. I have to go get another different kind of white. Let's see what I got right here. I have some Artist Loft. And I'll just put some out here on my paper. Oh, that sounded nice. Yay for you, Artist Loft. This is another one of, I think this is Deco Art Bubbles. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't keep the packages. That's just too much bother. I just don't do it. I'm so disappointed in that paint. And I don't want any more new ones. They send me new ones when I told them about how gloopy these were. But I don't want any more. They said, oh yeah, we know we were having trouble with them. Well, crud. That's more than trouble. Our, some of our batches, we know we had problems with them. But if you'll just put water in it, you can still use the paint. Don't buy the Dilution paints, guys. Don't buy them. They're not worth it. Okay. That's pretty good. I think that's good enough. Yay! Yay for me. And no, I don't clean my stencils off. Only if I'm putting uh, 
texture paste on. Okay, I'm going to give this a little dry. Alrighty, now let's see, what do I want to do, I think I want to make some marks, some marking marks, with my marking tools here, I think I want to do this stamp, this one, I just stuck that in white paint, like a dodo. Yes, I did. And let's see what else do I have in this little box of goodies here. I have this one. And I thought I saw bubbles in here. I have that one, but I don't want to use that one. This one's kind of cool. I thought I had one with circles on it. That one's kind of cool. And these are always kind of cool. All right, let's go in and do these. I have all my little texture things down here, except for my my little. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found some stuff. And I think I'm going to use um, ink instead of paint. So I'm going to use this uh, Versamark black ink. And I'm going to come in here and make some marks. I have this off of a, a journal. I bought journals a long time ago from Target that had these different ones on. I send them out to a lot of different people and I see people still using them. This has little stars. Just don't push too hard. Okay. This one's off of a uh A mat that you take hot things out of the oven with and it's a honeycomb see I cut it it was this big and I cut a piece out of it it's an oven mat or you can put hot you can set hot things on it on your counter but they're good texture things for me and I buy these at Tuesday morning as they have a lot of these. Okay, and then I have some of this grungy stuff. This is a stamp from Andy Skinner. I'm just making marks. And remember, if you think I'm putting too much on here, it's because every little card needs to get some on it. 
and if it doesn't, oh well. And this is a Dina Wakely stamp. I like this on these bubble, these uh, circles. Some of them have writing in them. I think this was a border stamp. Okay, and then I have this one, and I don't know where this one came from. I think I don't know if it was a if it was a Dina Wakely or if it was Ranger. I'm not sure. This makes little marks like that. It's getting awful busy. Okay, that's enough of that one. And then this makes crisscross marks. think I'm going to use that one. This is getting too busy. So now I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to dry it and then we're going to cut it up and then I'm going to work on my other paper off camera. Yes, it's kind of busy and I got to figure out what I'm going to do to save it. So anyhow, let's dry this. to get my cutter out here my nifty difty little Carl cutter okay now I gotta figure out it's not gonna fit in my cutter this way so I'm gonna have to do it this way and probably cut it at six see how many I can get out at six so I'm going to put it at 6, and then again at 6, then I'll have ATC sizes right here. Okay, now I'm going to do 4. I turned my paper, I turned it around, we cut it 6 this way, now I'm turning it around, I'm cutting it at 4 this way. Get one, two, and a little bit left over. That's big enough for an ATC. So I'm only going to get four out of this piece of paper. Let's see which one do I want to cut on this side? I need to get some purple in here. So I'm going to cut it this way. Cut it at four. And now do I want any more black than that? Huh. I think I want to go this way at four. Okay. So I got four cards out of it. So when I cut the other one, I'll have eight cards. And let's see what these measure. These measure, I can't do that on this Carl because it just doesn't come out right. So these measure three wide by 
six long. And ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. So if I cut it two and a half, this way, I have that little piece left, and cut it at three and a half. I'm gonna make sure I'm even here. And I don't have enough, but I got a twinchy or something out of this. Let me see how what this is. I can cut this down to a twinchy. So I can cut this down to two by two. And I'll have a little scrap. And I'll have another little scrap. Like that. So now I've got an ATC and a twinchy. Let's see what, this is going to be the same, so I'm going to cut this at, let's see, if this is three and a half. Is that three and a half wide? No, it's only three. So I got to go at two and a half. So I'm not getting the best uh, cuts out of my piece of paper here. I got another ATC and I'll have another twinchy. But that's how it goes sometimes when you have odd amounts of paper. Now let's see what this is. Let's see if it's, this is only two inch wide. So shoot, I'm not going to get ATCs out of this big paper. Oh well, I'll save it for something else, okay? So we got all of this and we got all these little scraps. We don't throw these away. I'll put them in a, I, I can cut out uh, embellishments, punch out embellishments with that. Okay, so now we have our cards, and I think this is all I'm going to do today, and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put on each one of them, and um, yeah, and then I'll be back to show you how I do the backings, and how I stamp the back, and some of them are not too bad on the back, but I don't, I, they need to be a little bit stiffer than this this mixed media paper. I'll put um, printer paper on the back. So, okay, and then I have these two that I'm going to work on. And I'm going to figure out, I have some embellishments that are already cut out. Let's see, where's my embellishment card here? I don't think this is it. This is it. Well, I have some, see, I have my butterflies that I made, and I'm probably going to put some of those on here. Then I have all these embellishments that I cut out that I haven't um, colored yet, so I'll probably use most of these and, and put them on the, the, yeah, the postcards. Look how pretty that is on that. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. It matches. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got a lot of embellishments. This one I thought I'd make, like, maybe uh, put a fairy on here. I have some fairy dies. I can cut a fairy out of any color I want. And, yeah, I can put that on there. And so that's what I'm going to be doing because I think this video is long enough. You saw me do the backgrounds and how I did those and so and I also have some other cards here that I can paint on and do more backgrounds on these backgrounds were done with wet paint and crinkled up um, saran wrap plastic wrap and left to dry and then pull the plastic wrap off 
so I might do some more of those and then I can cut out some some little borders. See, I have little borders I can put on them with these. Don't ever throw these away because, you know, you can put little things on your, you know, you could make a whole postcard by doing that with your scraps. You know, you could cut this into strips and glue them all down on there and make a postcard. So, okay guys, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and um, push that little icon bell by the side, and you'll get notifications of when my next video is going to go up, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.